the weather's hit, it's about as bad as it's ever been up here. We can't find a bird. We're fighting a light. The light's fading fast, we need to get hurry up. In all the years we've done stunts with the Peruvian Falcons, this has to be the most successful. I could feel its wings beating, its claws were hitting my helmet, really battling with me. Action! That's one. Peregrine falcons like Moses here are perfectly evolved for pursuit and diving and speed flight. But this is a real test for him because G's really hugging the hill and he's twisting and turning. Maybe a bit like a pigeon was, you know, if he was chasing a pigeon, a pigeon would be trying to hug the contours of the hill and out evade him. We're gonna be able to see exactly how they hunt. And in this case, hunt a man. I think my advantage is going to be having that, that direction change on the track, you know. I'm, I'm going to be riding fast downhill, there's jumps, there's drops, there's turns, all the time changing direction and changing shape if you like, so hopefully I'm going to be able to stay ahead of the bird and, and keep away from it. Right, this is it, this is the first shot of the day. So it's about three o'clock because we've had terrible rain all day. Because this bird is so fast, we've obviously had to break down each sequence just to really highlight just how amazing this bird is and how quick it's able to pick up a high, high speed object like G. Okay guys, we're just going for a test run, over. Okay, G, give it a go. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, good work. I think we've lost the bird. The bird got the little uh, lure off my back with its little chicken leg attached to it and then checked out. <laughs> it's gone and found somewhere quiet up in the hills to eat it, so. There's currently a large manhunt going on. Falcon hunt. <laughs> Lloyd's very cleverly got a radio telemetry device on the back of the bird, so we can radio track it and find out exactly where it's going to go. But, because we're in the mountains, the radio signals are bouncing all over the place. So we're struggling somewhat to find the bird. So, in the meantime, we're going to rehearse some sequences with G to make sure that all of our camera technology is working and that we can achieve the shots we want. And to cover the action, we've pulled out all the stops. We've got one super slow motion camera, one digital SLR on a slider, three mini cameras to put on G, two high def cameras that shoot off speed, one camera shooting all of the behind the scenes footage, a mini camera on board the Falcon, and we've got a remote controlled air vehicle to get all of our aerial shots. Brilliant, great news, really pleased Lloyd, fantastic news. Found the bird! So now we're going to go for the original plan, which is to send the bird off the, the top and follow G all the way down, hopefully. That would be the ultimate experience, that, that kind of adventure, that excitement that we're looking for. We've been fighting the weather, the weather's come right, then we've been finding it difficult to get it right for the birds. It's easy to start sort of rushing too much, so you've got to kind of just give him a chance to really focus on that lure. Because if you try and rush him, it'll never work. Three, two, one, action. Oh my god, guys. He nearly got it, he got it hold of it. He's trying, he's trying. Go on, go on, man. Okay, Sam's on him. See how he struggled though to get you, just because you were weaving so much more. He just couldn't quite pick you out, it was the brilliant. The first time his claws were like on the back of my helmet and in my goggle strap. No like, way. I don't no think I've stuck or he just grabbed off. Well, how did he grab hold of something of yours? Yeah, his goggle strap. He's on my goggle strap, like, and it was there for a few seconds, like he held on. For and then I heard snap. He just grabbed that bit. He must have been. Maybe he was trying he, to hold on to that while he got like the. I think he went for the lure and it probably misjudged. Yeah. But, Did you see him at all? Yeah. Going no. sweeping past. Sometimes him. I saw a wing like kind of beating <laughs> here, but. It's a real challenge for him because he was really having to work to try and find an angle mm. to get it. Well, I guess I'm moving up and down and left and right. You got about ten yards in the open. He was like, "There it is. I'm on him." <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and stay ahead of it this time. Okay, everyone's set. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh! <laughs> 
Here we go, here we go. Wow, look at that. No way, look at him on the brakes wow. trying to slow up to like not hit me. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. Look at that. In for the kill. Boosh. Yeah, I'm oh, just oh, I just missed him. Proper cool. stretching in, isn't that it? That was cool. He really came into uh, me with some we force then. Like I, the, hit, the, the time before I felt him kind of just sweep by, but that time he really came in and like hit hard and wow. proper grabbed into me, you know, and it took him a, a split second to kind of wrestle it off me. And all this time I'm like ripping down the track, going around turns and jumping. And it's normal. It's incredible just how, how hard he came in and how quick he did it. <laughs> We've got the action. Perfect. So we're going to go for another take. Got that as well. Yeah, nice one, G. That was cool. Good. That was cool. Nice one, guys. Wow, he's so close. Yeah. You know, you just see how accurate it is, can't you? I know. You don't really get to appreciate it in full time. So you see it in slow motion. Look at that. Wow. Get on. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Good shot. That is amazing. Look at it. <laughs> how cool is that? that? Yeah, that is sweet. Cool, Look at that, Good. he pulls the meat off the lure. Really, yeah. Ah, I think isn't you it? see it. Yeah, he struck it off. Yeah, but, yeah. watch. There yeah. it is, there. But he's, but he's so focused on the lure, he just thinks, he dropped it. Oh, I haven't got it. He dropped the meat there, look. Oh, yeah. Wow. In all the years we've done stunts with the Peregrine Falcons, this has to be by far the most successful because usually the action's happening, but you've got one camera, two at most, and you never really get the best stuff. And the birds are loving chasing the bike so much, they absolutely love it, they really enjoy it. Right, the next shot we want to get is from on board the Peregrine. So we're using a camera that weighs just 25 grams and attaches to a special harness on the bird. But to get the very best shots, the bird has to fly extremely smoothly. So I've got my fingers crossed. Action! He's on him. Come on, Moses, He's got it. Okay, I'm there. That's the shot. Each section of the course is vastly different. Some bits are quite steep, some are long and open, some are really windy. So uh, they're just doing a last few minute camera checks, getting the Skybot, checking the route for that. I'm gonna do Moses from a higher release, so it gives him a little bit of height to use the wind and the air to his advantage to get going. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, action! Missed it, still missed it. I think that's straight because there's so much undulation. Yeah, like, he's really struggled to get that's out of here. Like, I drop away from him, you know, and that kind of must throw him away a bit because that's like, yeah, he's straight up and yeah. I stay ahead of him. <laughs> this is the last shot of the day. G's going to come down here. There's a bridge just over here. He's going to go across the bridge and down. There's a very sharp dog leg right. And there's all sorts of stuff happening with the air and the wind here, which is going to really make Moses work. So he's going to have to really sort of reset himself, I think, and then go at him again. And there's lots of little tight turns. So this is a real challenge for him. That's going to be an exciting one. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, action.
I can see a shadow in front of me on the floor the whole time, like circling my head. That was cool. He followed you, he missed you here, and then he went over the jump and was so close to you again. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, and then he was just tracking you the whole way. It's agility, the way it can move around, it can jump from one spot to the next, it can anticipate what I'm doing. You know, to see that in a bird is it's incredible, really. It's been such a unique experience. It was a fantastic day, and everybody's had a great time. But more than anything else, Moses has had a great time. And that's what you want. If the birds enjoy it, then you're going to get great footage. You're a good boy, eh?